What's happening everyone? My name is Griffin Furlong. I'm a professional engineer in the state of Florida and this is the Q&A series that I've been putting together really aimed towards college students and I would say interns and maybe just young professionals. So if you are interested in sending me a question, you can email me or you can simply just comment below and I will gladly respond to your question. The question we have today is from Jim. He attends Georgia, go Bulldogs, uh, Georgia University, UGA. You know, we share the same rival, so that's awesome. Jim writes, hey Griffin, I am an upcoming sophomore at UGA and I would like to get a better idea of what major to choose, whether that is mechanical or civil. Appreciate all of your videos. Well, I really appreciate you, Jim, for actually tuning in and listening to this. Again, I made this YouTube channel and TikTok really just to help other students and interns out there. But this is funny because I get this question all of the time, whether it's, do I do construction management or civil engineering? Do I do mechanical or civil? The first thing that I will say is that I'm gonna reverse the question back to you. What is your interest? Because my interests vary significantly from yours. A personal anecdote that I can provide in answering this question is, I first started as a math major and that did not last very long. I really liked math and I ended up just switching to mechanical engineering. And when you switch as a freshman, you're not really a mechanical engineer at all or anything. You are really just starting all of your prerequisites. So that's one thing is that you're going to be doing prerequisites up until about sophomore year. So I had no inkling of what even a civil engineer or mechanical engineer did. Now, since I started off as a mechanical, you know, what made me actually choose civil engineering? I would say the big thing that made me choose civil engineering was just taking a step back and not analyzing all the classes that I was taking, but really taking a big step back and understanding what a civil engineer does. And this involved a little bit of research, you know, on, on YouTube, Google, just figuring out, okay, what does a civil engineer truly do? And how many different disciplines are there in civil engineering? And, you know, with that step back, I realized how important civil engineers were to society. And I, I actually had a funny thought freshman year. I was like, man, we really need civil engineers, huh? Looks like civil engineering is a very steady, promising career. And I know civil engineers get the very butt end of all the jokes of, you know, some people saying civil engineers, you know, it, it's the easiest engineering or, you know, all that, all that craziness. I think getting an engineering degree is actually quite difficult, but I'm not gonna slander anyone. Now, if you come from the background that I come from, where I grew up, you know, mostly homeless during elementary school and definitely low income from middle to high school, I just wanted some stability in my life. And I feel like, you know, civil engineering was one of those routes that I could take to just be stable. So I'm gonna turn the question back around and just ask, what are you interested in? Because with mechanical engineering, you can do a vast amount of things, just like with civil. So I can really only speak about civil. So in civil, you have a multitude of different disciplines. You can become a geotechnical engineer. You can become a land development engineer, just like myself. You can become a transportation engineer, traffic engineer. There's all different types. And you can even get a civil engineering degree and be more of a construction manager. And it really just depends what, what you wanna do. Now with mechanical, I feel like there's just a little bit more moving parts, no pun intended, but mechanical is more so of the dynamics aspect of engineering. And with civil, you know, the only moving thing that we're calculating is probably stormwater and maybe some, uh, some lift station pumps. But mechanical is gonna be a little bit more of that, you know, nerdy stuff that, that spins and moves. So, I mean, you can, be, you can be part of a robotics team, you can design airplanes. I mean, there's just so many different things that you wanna do. So really just narrow down what piques your interest, not my interest, because again, I've been getting this question too many times, civil or mechanical, and it's such a personal and subjective question. Now people are looking for me to provide some sort of definitive answer of like, well, which one is better? 
there's no such thing as better. There's the only such thing is that you're going to be going into this field where you're going to be working, hopefully for the majority of you know your career and enjoy it. So you have to choose something that you truly enjoy and have some sort of curiosity about and, you know, something that you want to explore. I think to end this, um, you know, just to kind of keep it a little bit more personal and maybe this helps give you some insight on what civil engineering is like, but I gained a lot of intrigue during my internship with a land development firm because I really liked the whole puzzle around land development. There's a lot of moving parts and it wasn't so nerdy. Land development's not nerdy at all. It's definitely not rocket science. I think personally anyone can do land development. I think you can teach a lot of these skills and a lot of these things, but it really is a difficult job. And there's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of critical path items that you need to be aware of. We wear many hats. You know, you're not just an engineer. I feel like you're a contractor, you're a developer, you're a lawyer in some cases. You're always just watching yourself, watch, watching the emails that you write, the things you say, the documents that we present the construction plans, reports. I mean, you get the full nine yards kind of, of of this of this job. And, you know, again, when I was an intern, that really intrigued me and I stuck with it. And here I am five years later after college and I'm still a land development engineer. So again, I, I hope this helps the whole civil engineering versus mechanical debate. Again, it's very subjective. It's very personal. What I would say the best piece of advice is to really just try to find an internship, try to find a network of people, follow more people like me, which I don't know if there's too many of us out there, but you know, maybe there's some civil engineers out there, mechanical engineers that share more TikToks and YouTubes. Follow those people and see what they do. Uh, that's all I have for today, guys. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe. I will be making more videos about land development. I'm actually gonna create a whole series where we dive into a project. So if you're interested in that, hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.